It is the human organ with the shortest lifespan, but it plays a big role in new life, the placenta. And as pregnancy complications involving the placenta, such as preeclampsia, stillbirths, and fetal growth restriction are on the rise, efforts to better understand and monitor the placenta are underway. WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy is here to tell us more. Sumathi, great to see you. First of all, explain what the placenta does exactly. Yeah, it's funny. A lot of people don't know, but it's like this very important organ. Um, circular disc of tissue that connects uh, the mother to the baby, essentially. And it provides nutrients to the fetus. It provides oxygenated blood. It kind of acts as the lungs, liver, and kidneys of the fetus while it's growing. Inside. And sort of protects it. It allows a foreign object to exist safely within the mother's exactly. body. Exactly. So it has right? a very important immune function as well. Right. Yeah. So interesting. Now, so tell us about the Human Placenta Project. Sure. So that's a relatively new initiative from the National Institutes of Health. Um, they started it last year. They've had a couple of conferences. And they doled out their first round of funding um, just last month. Mm -hmm to 19 different research projects, and it was about almost $50 million of funding. And what exactly are they studying and looking into when it comes to the placenta? Sure, so, I mean, traditionally, most of the research on the placenta has been after it's out of the body. So, you know, you have it physically, then you can study it. Mm -hmm. Now they're hoping with all of the advances in technology, they can actually monitor it in real time. Right. See, okay, how is the placenta doing? Is there anything, you know, how's the health of the placenta? And if there's a problem, it can alert you to other serious pregnancy complications. And could that change the way things like preeclampsia are treated? That's the hope, ultimately. Mm -hmm. um, but interestingly, if you are at high risk of preeclampsia, if you had a pregnancy before or you've had it, there's a relatively easy way to treat it, which is just taking low-dose aspirin, which is pretty effective. So if you can monitor the health and figure out, okay, this person, oh, they're going to develop preeclampsia, then you can just start that, that sort of treatment, and it's pretty effective. That's great. Now, we know that the, preclamp the placenta is often known as the afterbirth, mm -hmm. after it comes out, after the mm -hmm. baby is born. Is there any use for the afterbirth? I'm sorry if you ask that. As you probably heard there is a trend of sort of after once it's delivered of making it into a smoothie or right. a vitamin capsule. And I wasn't going to go there, but yes, I'm <laughs> glad you mentioned it. And there are women out there who believe this sort of helps with postpartum, you know, recovery. The doctors I've talked to said there's no evidence that that's the case. No, are they even really. looking into it, or are they completely debunked? There has been some research, and there was actually a study at Northwestern last year that found there's no. And they actually said like, if anything, they don't even know there could be some things that are not good about that. So you could be dangerous, not, right? Exactly. So do not consume the placenta. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Sumathi Reddy, for Thanks all of for that. Thanks for having me.